By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are bringing you magic from the Raging Bull series in Amsterdam, the first old school tournament held in the capital of the Netherlands. And when we were there, we were streaming live from Twitch. And what we're doing now is taking that content and making it into nice vids so you can see all the games. And this is actually the opening game between Yup, and he's playing with Urnum on Ice, and he's playing against Sander, and he's playing with Disco Troll. So both these players are very experienced. I know that uh, Sander had a top 8 at the Knights of Thorn uh, tournament, one of the biggest old school tournaments in the Netherlands. I know that Yup is the winner of the um, Frost Giant Cup in Hilversum. So these are two very good players. They also contended uh, last year in the, um, um, the Fish Liver Oil Cup in Genoa. And they did pretty well. I think Sander almost reached um, top 16 there. And Yup actually reached top 16. So that's a pretty good result. And it looks like Yup is off to a good start here on, on game one. Uh, we just quickly saw that hand there. I believe it's a library of Alexandria. And Sander is taking a mulligan. So he's going down to six. And I believe that Yup is on the play as well. And there he goes, taking six cards. And if he keeps, he gets to scry the first one. And that was a really small glance. He's actually not scrying, so that's interesting. So Sonder, you could have scryed or... And he's playing a swamp there. And there's the opening from you with the library. And there's a demonic tutor, so... That's nice. He's probably going to look up something to get rid of that library of Alexandria. Or maybe he has it in hand. It was hard to see. I do know he plays with, I believe, four sinkholes. So there is some land removal in there. can also go and get a strip mine. Not sure if he plays with a bottle main. Drawing a card there from the library again. So he already has two extra cards. Plus the fact that Sander had to take a mulligan. And there is the sinkhole. So that's the end of the library there. That's, of course, a tough start there for Sander. So he's so many cards behind already. And let's see. Probably a creature coming here. No, there's an Ice Storm, of course. So the deck Earn him on Ice um, is kind of a variation on the um, Ar uh, Earn him Geddon deck. So without Armageddon, he's playing with Ice Storms. That turned out to work pretty well because the deck has won some tournaments. And Yup is actually the first player that started to play with Ice Storms instead of Armageddon's. And this is a new thing that he's done. Uh, I know this because he told me, so he's adding Suchis there. And there is a Hypnotic Spectre. So Sonder hopefully... Nope, it's gone. There is a Swords. Because you kind of hope to get back into the game, and if you manage to, to punch through with that Hypnotic Spectre, at least you can let him discard a few cards. But that's not the case. That Suchi not doing a lot with that Maze of If on the table. And um, the best solution is exactly just playing another creature. The best solution to a maze of if is just playing another creature. If you're too aggressive with your land removal, you know, if you would always lose your, use your land removal without thinking on the maze of if, it, it could bite you later in the game. Ooh, and I just said it, and now he's removing the maze of if. I believe actually he's playing with four ice storms, taking, doing, dealing eight damage now to Sonder and playing a Sylvan Library there. So he's seeing possibilities and it's looking very bad for Sonder. What can he still do? He's playing a troll, at least it has regenerate. And I feel that, you know, Sonder needs a board wipe. Obviously he plays, um, I believe, with four discs. But the disc also takes a whole turn before he can activate it, and the deck plays with white, his opponent plays with white, so there are, I believe, three or four disenchants main board. So let's see what he can do, and he's taking an extra card, so he's going down to 16, has enough life, so it doesn't really matter. And 
playing an icy, so now he's able to tap that troll down, hitting him for eight again. Oh, and it's just, it keeps getting worse for Sunder. This whole first game, starting off with that Mulligan, seeing that Library of Alexandria against you, that quick creature build up, the two ice storms. So it's not great. And I'm, I'm thinking now, what card can save him here? So he's on six, so he can tap the troll, he can hit him, then he has this chump block with his factory. Oh, another ice storm. And these ice storms are just so critical. And that's it, that's game. Oh, and look at his hand. Look at his hand. So he was hoping, of course, to block and then uh, play out his lightning bolt. And I do like that red elemental blast there, main. So, too bad. That was a very quick win uh, by Yoop. I think a good and aggressive use of those Ice Storms. And uh, let's see what they can do after sideboarding and if uh, Sonder can uh, fight his way back into this game. Game number two with Sonder on the play. And uh, let's hope for Sonder he doesn't need to take another mulligan. And if you do, please don't forget to scry. Because that's quite useful. But especially when you're on the play. Oh, and there's another mulligan. Okay. Maybe it's not your opening match. Sometimes that happens. I've actually lost my last three opening matches on tournaments. So I think I need to uh, <laughs> I need to I need to rethink my strategy there. Uh, so Yuba's trying to show his cards, but all I can see is half a plane. So uh, that's not really going to give us any information here. And uh, Sonder, in the meanwhile, is shuffling his deck again. And uh, I would say take six cards and please remember to scry. And m maybe Yoop is reminding him now. I don't know. And let's see. And again, he's not scrying. So it's very interesting. Maybe there's a rule that, that we didn't scry this tournament, not, not that I know of, but there's a Lanawar Elf there by uh, Yoop, so that's a great start for him, and a Lightning Bolt. I think that's a very wise decision, especially when you take those um, Ice Storms and uh, keep them in the back of your mind, because if he has three mana, he can actually cast an Ice Storm, and then you're down a land, and he's already up a mana because of the Lanawar Elves. This is nice. Good play here from Sonder that early Blood Moon. Of course, there's already a basic plane on the table, and he has that um, Sylvan Library, so he can quickly go and look for uh, the needed removal in the form of a Disenchant. Uh, but for now, he's just playing a Maze of If, which is a Mountain, so he has three mana. And he's playing an Orb, and he's going to flip, so let's put this on slow-mo. And let's see, is he going for the Blood Moon, or is he going to make a different choice? And this is interesting, it looks like he's choosing the Swamp, and he's probably choosing that because, you know, Sonder needs his black mana, and then his own Blood Moon is going to work against him. And maybe, you know, uh, you playing that Mesa Viv has a little bit of a land problem himself, and if he changes the Blood Moon, if he takes care of the Blood Moon, then it means he'll lose his Maze of If, which is now a mountain, so he'll lose that mana. So I think it's it's a pretty cool move because here Sonder is stuck with two mountains and you know he plays with a lot of um, a lot of black spells obviously and that was a really quick peek into his hand couldn't really see what he had there I did see a disc there and he's taking you was taking four life again playing very aggressively with that Sylvan Library he really wants to keep the upper hand in this game maybe he's found another ice storm or something although he cannot cast that at the moment. And he's actually discarding now a Brain Geyser, so he's kind of stuck himself as well. And there is the Setch Troll, and I believe it's now still a 2-2 because there are no swamps in play because those Batlands are mountains. And there's another mountain still in there, but there's a Suchi, and a Suchi doesn't really care with what kind of mana you use to cast it. Colorless is fine. So there's a Suchi facing the Troll that cannot regenerate and is a simple 2-2 creature. And all of a sudden, that troll doesn't look that good anymore. And I think this is a nice play here, playing a... Uh, oh, and three ice storms are going, and a balance. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. So that was a good play there from Sonder. And uh, you also losing a lot more cards here, I believe. 
And can Sonder find a swamp? Because then he's kind of back in here again. And yes, he does a basic swamp. So now he's in the advantage. And this is going to be interesting because, um, you know, you took 8 damage because of those Sylvan Libraries. So he's on 12. And, you know, Sonder is still on a full 20. And he's playing with some direct damage as well. And I think he just now needs a disc, blow everything up, and then start attacking with that set troll. But let's see what uh, Yup does. Casting a Sarah Angel there. And that's nice. You can see that, um, you know, players like, like Yup, they kind of know that you're going to see a Blood Moon. You just know that's going to happen on tournaments. So you make sure you board in enough basic planes, but also you're playing with the, the full set of Moxen, I believe, or at least three or four. So you have that as an uh, option as well. You have that Mox Pearl there, but you also have the uh, the Mox Sapphire uh, in this deck, and I believe the Mox Emerald, the green one, as well. And then you have the Sylvan Library that's going to help you, in this case, to kind of go through your deck and take out the useful picks. And there it is, the disc, Larry Nevin's disc, hitting the table, and that means that you could potentially lose two really good creatures here. So obviously he doesn't want that to happen. He's going to dig for a disenchant. And has he found one? There's another plane. And it looks like, yes. Oh, it's a divine offering there. And that means he also gets four life. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, and this is not great for Sunder, and I think that's a problem when you're playing against white um, and there's so much artifact, uh, there are so many artifacts in the old school format that everybody plays with artifact hate main board and especially when you're playing white you know there are going to be four disenchant. And look at that, there's a Gloom and there is a Sengir Vampire. I do like this play from Sunder and he's really not giving up. He keeps trying but there's a Swords and I know this this deck earned him on ice very well. I've played it often, and this deck is just full of answers. And now Sunder is saying you have to tap extra mana, and, and he's right because of the gloom, but he seems to have enough. And it does mean that Sunder gains some life, but all of a sudden, Yup is on 16, Sunder's on 15, and he's now taking a full 8, going down to 7, and this is a problem. And what I really like about this game when I'm looking at the, at the way Yup is playing it is that he says, you know what, the Blood Moon, keep it there. I don't care. And you see there, he couldn't use the mace, and that's game. So the first match of the tournament goes to Yup's Urnum on Ice. Congratulations. And if you want to see more of this tournament, stay tuned because more games will be coming later this week and next week. We have, of course, all the rounds for you and we also have the top eight matches so keep an eye on the channel if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe let me know what you think of the videos it's always appreciated and thank you for watching this episode of Timmy Talks the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time <laughs>